Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to study how to create an application in Android. So as far BCA practically is concerned, uh, it's mobile and application lab. Uh, so these are the steps that you have to <coughs> sorry, follow for almost all the programs. So whatever the programs you have, these are the basic steps that you have to follow. And in your main exam, you have to first write these steps. Then you have to write the code. Okay, without writing the step, just don't write the code. Six steps you write it when you get your program. After writing the six step, you can continue with your program code, etc. So these are the steps. Just you have to click on Android Studio, then one dialog box up appears. Then you have to click on New Project, choose Empty Views Activity. After that, you select the language as Java, then click on Finish button. Okay, these are the basic steps. Uh, remember that any higher version of Android you can install provided that you require 8 GB of RAM. So in your lab exams, all the systems will be installed. Uh, I mean, uh, Android will be installed in the system. You just have to come and execute it. Okay. So just uh, now I will see how to do that. Just I have already installed Android Studio. If not installed, you can go for the quick guide of installation and then install in your systems so just click on the android studio so this it will appear already i have opened here so what you have to do next step is click on new okay uh, click on this file you will get new then okay file new then click on new project dialog box appears here what you have to do is select empty views activity not the empty activity if you select empty activity then it will not work with this kind of program Okay, after that click on next. So these are the basic procedure you have to follow. Then erase this, give the name of your project that you are going to do. Okay, since this is a program number one, so I will just give program one, provided that first letter must be a capital because we are using Java. Make sure that you have a Java, selected Java here, not the Kotlin. You have to select Java. Okay, then click on finish. Right. So I'm clicking on the finish when you click on finish it will build and create one a griddle product like you can see here okay so when you get this you will have basically two files here you, you might have observed here activity main.xml so it takes some time no worries activity main.xml and main activity.java so these are the file you have to understand for any of the android program these two files are important so since it is the first program i am uh, starting from the basics next program onwards just i will start with the program explanation so since you have to understand this for some people you will not get this i'll tell what to do activity main xml means it is an xml file where you are given an opportunity to design your application like how you want your application to look for designing xml is an extended markup language isn't it which is required for designing your front end that and after designing you have to interact with something or you have to connect it connect with the database so for that or you have to execute your programs so that code whatever we have to write in order to get executed that java code you have to write it in main java dot uh, main activity dot java so these are the two files by default you will get when you open any of the applications in android or if you create a new project okay and then you have to remember this you have a run and execute okay just i'll uh, show here uh, yes so this is for executing your program so if you want to debug something you can do this and this is your application uh, runs are debugging your applications then one more thing you have to remember here uh, that is uh, this thing this is a code if you want to go for coding so you'll get this page okay just i'll move this and just i'll show you where it is okay uh, this is a code you will get code this is split means this is a view where you'll get code as well as a designing how we have done if you want only design click on design you will get the designing part so since before doing any coding first you have to design it after designing you have to go for coding okay so now where i have to go for coding i mean designing first okay so for designing uh, if you didn't get this uh, in the file you have app here so just click on app then click on res that is the resources since i have to design right so click on the layout okay 
if you click on this layout you will get activity main.xml so this is another method when you click on this you will get one page by default hello world will be there all right by default hello world will be there now you have to design according to the given requirements so what is the lab requirement what they have told let us uh, see here so what it is given here so for creating an application so this is the thing you have to create okay according to the lab program one you have to write one label say so click the button to see this message and one button so what are my requirement for program one one label i have to put and one button i have to put so these are the requirement designing part so now i'll go to android studio here so by default hello world they have given we don't want this right we want click here to see the message as and one button so now i'll go to activity main so i'll remove this because i don't want right so remove this go to code okay click on the code one second or i can take the split after removing i am in the design part so what i want one text i want so i'll go for text okay i want one plain text right so take this plain text put it here okay put it here then with this four uh, things you can see so just click here if you want you do it uh, okay adjust it increase it or decreasing or if you want to put it in center you bring this in center okay now i have put one label because in the question it is click here to see this now go for code so as soon as i put the text view you can see this tag text view so what i want here text view right so that thing it has to be displayed in my designing part so now what we have text view i have here if you see this so i want click here to see this message so as i uh, showed you in the designing here what they have shown click the button so button to see the message so that message it should display here so in remove this text view okay then type here click this okay button to see the message so now i have changed it go to the designing part and check see it has been changed so that is the first thing then what i want i want one button uh, here you see i want another button this i have done now i want one button and it should be click me on that button label should be click me so i'll go here uh, what i want button i want so in this button i'll just take the button okay select button then drag and put it here wherever you want you can put it so button has come so label now it is button then again go for coding so see when i put the button tag automatically code everything will come you need not do anything okay what is this id id of that button you have to remember because in java file we have to link that right then height width it is uh, by default it is wrap content if i don't want wrap content i can give like this 237 dp 43 dp anything you want to give so now i don't want this name i want to change the name of the button so what here it is click me okay so i have given like this right click me so now we have created designing part is done so that is what the requirement is designing part is done after writing a java code this uh, in message will go so now go to design and check here done so click the button click me so now designing part is done designing alone will not help right so i have to do some coding in the java also so when i cl click on this it should display some page okay when i click on click me button after executing it should open one application so that is a program that we are going to do okay now i'll go for java file now activity main dot java okay click here go for coding here by default your a name of the program is that package everything it will import what you need to do is when you click on that button it should display the content right <clears throat> for that i have to write the code here one more thing you have to remember in the designing part that is the id you have to remember because i am going coding here so that id is what is the id for text is 
text view and for button is button so this you have to remember same idea you have to carry forward for java see here java file is there same idea you have to carry for java also okay so that we will see here so this is a java files so when i click on activity java so remember to import this okay so this is for viewing purpose bundle then button when widget we want okay and toast so toast is one uh, containing class so which helps you to display a message so that is the meaning of the toast so all this has to be imported so remove the content whatever it is there uh, mean import the files okay java file and here activity i am i am showing here so this all things will be there so here i am creating one button object b here you have to type this b for that b object b find view id button so you have to pass whatever i have done r id button why i am giving button here means so here i have button okay when i click on button click message should be when i click on this button application should get open so what is the id of that button so i have given button if you want different id erase this and you can give it just as b so when i give b here here also i have to go and change it as b instead of button okay and in designing also i have to change here see now it should it it should change to b understood what to do it so right now i'm do not doing anything so i'll just giving so when i click on this automatically prompt will come so same id should match so here here as well as in the java file so when you click on that so what i have done whatever i do the action will be stored in b and we have an op listener called as click listener so when it listens it will display what message it will display just to toast is a function that will help you to display any message so what text it will be displayed so that when you click on toast automatically it should tell hi this is my first android application so length i have given short then uh, i have to give toast dot show so so just to toast to dot make text so when you click on toast automatically it will come just i will show see so automatically toast will come so you just to type make text then main activity so i have taking main activity so this is a main activity this what message has to be displayed just to type here what message you want to display so my first android application after that toast dot length what should be the length of the message short only we have selected then after that show show means it will be displayed on the screen so this is the java code that we have to include in the java file so remember to in import this packages okay these are very important whatever i have used i have imported then in java you till here everything will be there you have to do this only this thing you have to type it that means action what is an action listener why we have take considering button means on click it should display message this is my first program so that message we have written inside the function toast so this is done after doing this you can go to file okay uh, sorry file you can click on save all or you can press control yes save it after saving you have to start with the emulator how to start with the emulator here you have a device manager click on device manager first okay then here if you want you can add this okay so which phone you want you can click on medium or phone phone then you can click on next so emulator will get added in your program okay so here i'm clicking on cancel because already i have started the emulator you do it already as yeah, i have started it after doing this just click on run so now i am clicking on run your program will get been executed it takes few seconds to do it in case if you have a less space or something like that then it will take time to get executed and start with the emulator here you can see i'll just uh, do this okay 
I able to see thing. So when I click on the simulator, click here to see me. See, click me. So when I click on this button, which message it should display? It should display a message whatever we have given in this toast function. That means this is my first Android application. So I have clicked on this, so it is showing this is my first Android application. If you want once again, just on click short I have given. It will say this is my Android application. So this is your first program. This is how you have to execute. So first write those steps. So what you have to do in your exam? First write these six steps like how you are going to open the project. Next step is designing how you have to do this. This th all the things we will not give. We will give you a question. Design it. Click on this. Based on that open the Android application. Go for designing. Where to go for designing? Here. Android app you have resource resource you have layout if you click on this layout you will get activity main so when you click on this activity main you will get the designing so go for designing click on design see you will get button drag and drop whichever you want text means text drag and drop buttons if you want drag and drop this is the second step after dragging and dropping just go click on the design how you have done after designing what you have to do next thing is you have to code it then go for coding click on just drag it here uh, you have to write a code without coding simply if you design it will be utter waste so here while writing or uh, dropping a message remember the ids button on button i am doing it on this i am not writing any code this is just a message okay for this button i am writing a code so what is the id of that button is button itself so if you want to change change here also here also i will keep kept the layout as the constraint here you can see the uh, constraint layout what is the constraint it will allow me to change the contents on the screen further program i will explain other layouts also that is there okay uh, then in the java code if you go same but r id r is the resource id resources button here so find that resource id and on listening to that so which listener it is on click listener on listening to that so you have to display so toast is one function which allows you to display a message it will display this okay so this is how you have to execute in your i mean lab exam so after executing you can write down okay so hope you have understood how to do it uh, thank you so much for watching please do like share and subscribe thank you so much